You don't have to look far to see some of the less credible forms of art in downtown Fargo. They're called tags. Oftentimes, there's someone's name and more often, illegal. Taggers are taggers. They're going to write their name out. They're, they're going to write a, a slogan or something so that everybody sees them. It's not like a, this is my turf sort of thing. It's look what I was able to do and not get caught. But there's plenty of graffiti in town that many take pride in. These creations are actually drumming up interest rather than just being an eyesore. Almost daily in the summer we pe see people taking their senior pictures or their engagement photos in front of it. So it's it's been well received over a long time. About half a dozen locations we found in downtown Fargo all received businesses consent, approval, even blessing to get such work done. It's a beautiful addition to a piece of architecture. Each individual has a different style just like your handwriting versus the next person's handwriting. Some businesses actually invite artists in to create a mural like this, saying that it brightens up the block and it actually draws customers in. But what they don't want is to hear about those spraying themselves into trouble with the law. It's unfortunate that, that there are still people spraying private property. I think there's something to be said for people who get the appropriate approval for what they're doing. Because when a legal graffiti starts to paint all graffiti artists in the same light. You can see the, the spray can that he's using. I immediately knew that it's, it's not a professional art quality spray can material. We forget how some of these works of art are just that. People love it. it uh, our neighbors say it dresses up the block and they really like it. Uh, it. You know, there's some artwork on the back of this kind of otherwise, you know, pretty plain looking block. In downtown Fargo, Eric Crest, Valley News Live.